Um, I'm here with uh, Tom and we're just uh, running through some of the tech for the uh, theatre production which is going to happen next week and uh, we've just finished the technical rehearsal and this is the first production that I've had to do where we've been looking at um, different stems that can be positioned in different parts of the auditorium and so Tom's been explaining to me some of the software that they're using here. Um, and uh, what, what's the software we're using? We're using QLab, which is a pretty figure 53 piece of software, which is pretty mm-hmm. standard for uh, audio, video, uh, control, and now lighting playback within right. a theatre environment, often used for production and touring shows and that kind of thing, lightweight right. touring. You can take a laptop in with your software on it and your audio interface and a little USB to DMX interface, or mm-hmm. our lighting's going out over the network and then being converted back, but... It's and I mean, it's interesting for me up. because I've only ever used um, sort of physical desks, and you're not using a physical desk at all here, are you? No, we've not. We've got a desk under the table, a little rack mount thing, which mm. is a Behringer X32 rack, uh, which we're just using now as a eight output interface. So we've got USB straight into the X32. That's got eight analog outputs on it, which are patched straight onto the USB inputs at the moment. Right. So we set this by number afterwards. Right. And so that that's triggering the light straight after the cue. Yeah, so basically there's the... And the blackout is tied together as well. So when I hit the cue, I've got the blackout. My music starts straight away. Yeah. I might put it... 10 seconds in I think the blackout should be more like 10 on a preset because this is because before that is when we've got the audience in Um, the music might start a second later and the lights come up 43 seconds after the music starts which is basically just done by you know done by eye and by ear from watching it we tend to run it and then at the point in the music we just note down the the timing and set it off so yeah the blackout runs of its own the music would have started at the same time yeah and um if I load to time, we can run it without watching it right from the beginning. But from there, mm. uh, then at that point, the at the end of the music, we can see the time runs out. Yeah, and the light runs straight off, and the lights are tied okay. right to the end of it. So having them both in the one software really tidies up those kind of timings. Yeah, um, because it's you know it's not left to chance. What have you got on this screen here? Uh, so here I've got my eight outputs, which are just run to my eight different speakers. So one and two are front of house, right and left, which are just slightly behind the audience. I've got two up above the audience on three and mm. four. Five and six are hidden under two of the audience seating banks. Seven is a speaker on a stand off stage behind the set of double doors in mm. the set, which allows us to have music coming from the back room. And eight is the feed to my subwoofers so that I can choose separately whether to send something to the subwoofers or not. Yeah. Like as to whether it's going to benefit the sub being in the mix or whether it's going to just muddy it up a bit. If it's mm. something like a, a high string part or a high woodwind part, there's probably low frequency elements down there, but not ones that you're really going to benefit much <laughs> from reinforcing. So no. it's things like the low piano parts, the percussion parts that I can send there and then really benefit from that and tidy up the sub, keeps it nice and tight on the bottom yeah. end. Now, I provided you with some stereo mixes originally, and they were probably just more for the benefit of the director so she knew whether the music was working. Yeah, but also, I mean, we use them in rehearsal because in rehearsal it's much simpler for us to be able to play back one file than use the whole thing. But, you know, absolutely. But what you've done is you've taken, especially in the last scene, you've taken the stems and you've actually really sort of remixed it to work with the scene uh, that is right the music much better than you know it would do with just my original stereo mix yeah so at the top of act four the piece of music there is into four stems of choir high low strings and a piano part and the piano part there i'm hanging on so Um, What we often like to do is at the end of a scene, when the scene change finishes, carry the audio on under the action. It's a bit like TV, whether you might choose to carry the music on into the scene or whether it stops dead at the end of the scene change. And there, with having the stems, we have the choice of being able to carry just a part of it on. So when the action starts again, Mm. um, the three stems, the two choirs and the strings all fade out. 
but the piano carries on for another 50 seconds into the scene. But when we tried it with all the thing, because it's quite a, a full sound, the mix there, yeah. it was too much under the action, yeah. really. Right. Hello there. Hello, are you back? Well, we're just, I'm just learning, you know, what you guys have been doing. <laughs> um, do you get any input into the music that's being provided? Can you, do you ever speak to sort of Dorothy and say, look, actually that's not going to work? Or, or is it all down to the director and you will work with whatever she tells no, you I to mean, work? It's the director, it's the director's yeah. vision at the end. We can yeah. always guide and advise on that and we might mm. say, you know, what we think would work and it, you know, can be considered, but it, it's their vision that you're trying to you're trying to put together. So we can change it slightly. So if we had a track that we liked under the action, mm -hmm. we can always re EQ the track or something or do because yeah. within within this software, I've also got I can apply all sorts of normal VST audio units to it. So any VST mm -hmm. I can run live any VST or AU so at the moment I've just got the operating system AUs on here but just the same mm -hmm. kind of plugins that you might have in your audio software yeah. I can run those live on an effect within this but I can also fade the parameters of them over time right. so I could have something like at the top of a scene as opposed to just fading the song out I could always apply something like a high pass filter mm -hmm. and fade it off up instead right. to fade it out and get rid of it so it may segue under over the action but if it's too boomy or something for what's going on it all depends often on the register of whatever's going on on stage and what the action is right. okay it's the quality of it that matters as well because a lot of times if something's been to mp3 or removed mm. from online the the audio quality on there can be a bit haphazard and it tends to be more of a problem for the full spectrum sound sound effects like earthquakes and explosions than for music necessarily right. yeah yeah. Well, thanks ever so much for talking me through that. And, you know, it's been an enjoyable experience. We, you're now on your techni tech rehearsals and you've got the sort of full dress rehearsal on Tuesday. Is That's that right, right, Tuesday yeah. night. We're running it again Monday afternoon and then we've right. got Tuesday night for a full dress. But hopefully from now on, it should start to run smoother. And this one we've just been through, we ran it twice today, once in yep. the morning, just stopping and making sure we've got all the points where it goes up and down right. Mm and then second time just running it to really finesse those a little bit. Brilliant. Well, thanks, Tom. That's been brilliant. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Not at all. I know that sounds, it sounds a bit naff, doesn't it? Oh, that's uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for the we, got, we did manage to get a good little time without anybody in here.